A little local trend, maybe a national trend for some, because uh, big things happening high above the sky uh, tonight and the planet as well. Still seeing some clouds here, but we are hoping for some clearing of these clouds as we head into the nighttime. And you can see here, we're seeing some clearing right there on the Indiana-Ohio border, and hopefully that gets here in time for the uh, big uh, celestial event in the sky. We got Mars, Uranus, Venus, Mercury, and Jupiter all basically in a line, the five planets aligned. This happens every couple of years, but it's a big deal. People like to see it out there. Uh, clear, clearing skies for night, temperatures into the 30s. How do you see it? Well, usually right after sunset or so, because Venus isn't up that long uh, in the sky. But nonetheless, hopefully you'll be able to see it once those clouds clear on out. There are five planets. And how can you tell a planet? They don't blink. Only stars blink. So if you stare at something and it's not blinking, it's probably a planet. And if it's nice and bright out there, too. So there will be no blinking going on from these uh, planets tonight. Also in the sky tonight, you get a double whammy. It's like a two-for-one feature. My goodness, the International Space Station also flies on by tonight, 933. Uh, take a look into the northwest sky. So a little bit too... If you're looking west, uh, west, look a little bit to your right. You'll see the uh, uh, hopefully the entrance of the ISS that moves on by. It'll be up there for about three minutes. That also doesn't blink. It looks like a star, by the way, and it moves pretty consistently through the sky. You'll be able to tell it when it moves on through. It's pretty uh, impressive. It moves at 17,500 miles per hour across the sky, and it's going to take about three minutes to get across there. And of course, if you don't know, it laps the planet every 90 minutes. So uh, daytime is very short for astronauts. Wow. Interesting. Like the show in the skies tonight. Yes. Thanks, John. You're welcome. <laughs>